Before Russia invaded Ukraine, the groundwork had already begun online. Russian disinformation is a key part of what many are calling a hybrid war. You've got the conventional weapons, the tanks, the drones, uh, the missiles, but you've also then got this disinformation war that has started months before the actual physical invasion began. We found a coordinated network of Twitter accounts that are spreading pro-Russian disinformation and propaganda about Ukraine. And we found that the activity of these accounts has surged. On February 21st, Russian President Vladimir Putin recognized as independent the so-called People's Republics of Luhansk and Donetsk. Many of the key points that President Putin made were directly uh, using the same terminology and the same narratives, almost word for word, as what these accounts in this coordinated network had been saying for months. A few days before, videos like this one purporting to show an attempt by Ukrainian and Polish mercenaries to blow up chlorine tanks in Donetsk were published as a pretext for Russia's invasion. But the open source intelligence community quickly debunked it was edited in Adobe, uh, actually, and um, then some people, Twitter users also found uh, a video that uh, was uh, published on um, YouTube in 2010, and then sound from this YouTube video was used, actually, uh, while uh, composing the uh, video clip that uh, Donetsk authorities published. and. Um, also, uh, metadata of this video showed that, um, uh, that the, basically the path of um, the files which were used while composing the video, and then there was a file name dating back to, to 2021. And uh, it was really obvious that uh, A, uh, the video was not from uh, February 18, and B, the uh, video was not authentic. Experts say the volume of pro-Kremlin disinformation will only intensify as the war plays out. Nowadays, um, Kremlin's main task is to just uh, cover up uh, Russian casual casualties in Ukraine, and not just Russian casualties, but also the fact that it is uh, Russia is attacking um, civilian targets in Ukraine. But one effective countermeasure appears to be hearing directly from local Ukrainians themselves, including the president. Here you have a leader of a country where Russia is attacking and actually using the same video message, video apps and digital platforms to communicate with not just his population, but with the world and to actually debunk some of the disinformation narratives. Russia may have an established network of human and artificial intelligence actors to spread disinformation, but in Ukraine, New voices are emerging to set the record straight, speaking their truths and rallying the world around them.